John here with Seven Trees Company. Today I'm here at a typical homeowner's house and we're going to prune a couple trees. Mainly we're going to focus on a peach tree and focus on a couple things on the peach tree that need to be taken care of. In the end, we're going to do a time lapse video on me pruning an almond tree. Let's get started. When I address a tree, I first look at the trunk. This tree in particular is telling me that it's, it's been too heavy in the past. I can see splits down multiple branches down the trunk. And it also is telling me that it has boar. Boar is such a nasty little bug. It's a little bug that bores underneath the bark and it essentially girdles the tree. So the first thing I would address is to remove all the visible dead that I can see and I can get from the ground because why climb a ladder if you can start from the ground? So I'm just gonna use my handsaw here and make a good clean cut on all the dead I can find. There's another dead branch over here. I'll just make sure I stay beyond the, the branch collar. On other trees, aspens, things like that, you can see a more detailed and heavily marked branch collar. But on the peach tree, you just kind of got to imagine where this trunk moves into this branch and you don't want to cut any part of this trunk. So I'll just stay on the outside and make a good clean cut. Luckily, I have a nice sharp handsaw. That always helps. Fruit trees are a wonderful tree to have in your yard because any homeowner should be able to take care of their own fruit trees because you don't really need power tools to prune a fruit tree. Once again, I'm just moving through the tree. I, I don't have to think very hard when I'm doing this because any dead I remove just helps out the tree. So why not? I can do it with a clear conscience. Now sometimes a homeowner might find that the tree has a good branch with lots of dead on it and a, a few couple trees or a couple leaves. Now this is the dilemma that you'll run into. Do I take it off or do I just remove the dead? Do I remove the whole thing or just part of it? I say is that there's another branch that you can re replace the branch you're taking off. Why not take it out? because this is an unhealthy branch. And so I'm going to elect to remove this branch. It's a little bit heavier of a branch. And so if I'm ever scared that I can't hold up the branch as I cut it, I'll make a cut on the outside first so that if it peels, that it will only peel onto a stuff I'm going to remove anyways. This way now this, this part's a lot more manageable. I can come in and make a good cut and not worried about the weight of the branch peeling off before I can finish cutting and peeling down the part of the trunk that you're going to leave. Now we're gonna to climb to the top and find the height. You always make these cuts first. You make the, your larger cuts first because there's no reason to prune something that you're gonna remove later anyways. So this is what I've determined as the, as the middle. So I'm gonna just start to reduce some height, leaving lateral branches and cutting always to a, a healthy bud or another branch. So I'm just finding my heights in here. And this will help re reducing weight Now I've changed my loppers. I had my handsaw on my side, but the loppers are always really good to make these sort of cuts on smaller, uh, lighter branches. I'm actually gonna remove that to lighten up that branch there. There we go. I also have my hand pruners if I want to do some more tight and uh, refined cuts. I'm just going through finding dead, removing stuff. And I, uh, I got an orchard ladder. They're really great for moving around. Well, an orchard if you happen to have one, but if you just have a couple fruit trees, then they're great for that as well. They work well on uneven ground and uh, they're very stable for just having three legs essentially. 
So what I try to do is I try not to move um, my ladder. I try to get everything I can with where I'm at. And you'll see that I'm, I'm cutting quite a bit off the tree. And it's just because it, it has so much weight. And you'll actually have better fruit, heavier, bigger peaches if you just keep your tree nice and, and thinned. And the best part about it is that you won't have your tree break up. Now, if you look around, you can kind of see that everything in this area is, is fairly similar sized in how thick the branches are, the, the different type of tapers. But there is an odd man out. Yeah, this branch has kind of grown up bigger and thicker than everything else. And so this is more of an aesthetic thing, but also a weight thing is I'll, I'm electing to remove this branch to uh, make, the brand, make the area look a little bit thinner and uh, have a little bit more continuity in its looks. Once again, I got a larger branch, so I'm gonna make what they call a snap cut. So I make a cut on one side, I cut on the other, and then I can snap that off. There it goes. That allows me to control the cut. So some of these tight angles, you have to be creative with how you come in. To make your finishing cut. Yeah, that allows me to maintain my height there. I decluttered that area there. It looks similar to this area over here. That's helped out and I've removed a lot of the dead. I know I'm making this seem a little bit easy as I move around the tree. I'm not thinking a lot. It looks like I'm just cutting randomly, but I am, I'm making a good healthy choices. And this is something a homeowner can do. But the main thing that a homeowner should worry about is making good, healthy, clean cuts. One thing that I do with bypass pruner that helps me make a good pruning cut is I slide this unsharpened part to the edge of the branch that I'm going to save and that allows me to make my angled cut the way I want it. So it's kind of a, a kind of a guide that I use. So moving around the tree, I found a prime example of what signs a bore would look like. So as the bore enter in, they create a little hole enter in, in the tree, and the tree defends itself by sending out this amber. Now let me kind of pop this, it's fairly fresh, you can see. The other stuff we found was hard, but this is, is pretty fresh, it's probably this year. And so the tree is just sending out trying to suffocate that bore that's inside it. So this is some signs that you need to watch out for in your fruit trees. So one thing that we can do to keep the bug out of the tree is to uh, put down mulch and put down nice airy uh, light bolt mulch like this and that keeps the bore out of digging underneath the dirt and entering in in the bottom of the trunk. Also they're spraying and lots of other things to do but mainly keeping your tree healthy is probably the the best thing you can do to keep bore out of it. One of the biggest things that homeowners do is they think they need to thin the middle of a tree. That's something that a orchard will do. The orchards don't want to waste the time and the effort to harvest the fruit from the middle of the tree. And so they get rid of that. That creates lots of problems for, for the trees. They get sun scald and all kinds of other things. So I suggest leave the middle intact and uh, your tree will do just fine. You might lose a bush roll too, just fall into the ground because you can't reach it, but it's better than having a sick and unhealthy tree. That about does it here with this peach tree. We took out some height, reduced the lateral weight, removed the dead from the interior and the broken limbs, all that to ensure a good healthy crop. So let's prune the almond tree. <laughs>